Welcome to the channel. This is going to be a quick video uh, just talking about my experience going to Charlotte Motor Speedway's Speedway Christmas. This map, the map they give is a little deceiving in my opinion. So when we were on the road heading to go to the Speedway, like on the highway heading to go to the Speedway, there's maybe about 15 minutes worth of traffic outside to get like into the, uh, the Speedway property area. And so we are like, okay, this ain't too bad. And then, unlike on this map that shows where you go when you go to the left, when we went in, it took us to the right. And we, we zigzagged maybe six lines of cars, but it was, it was like, uh, they had you go in side by side. And so you're, you're going like two down and you're zigzagging when we started heading around, there was a little, like, I mean, the whole thing was traffic, but it was moving a little better because then they get you condensed kind of down into one lane beside this little ice rink. And then they get you spread out to like three lanes. And they started showing signs for like a fast pass type thing where you can skip the line. And it was, I think around maybe $45, I could be wrong. And so we just kept going. We didn't get in that lane because we were like, why, why are we going to spend this much money to, to pass the line? I don't even know what line you're going to be passing. So we got up to where you pay to go to this thing. And so we paid. We're like, okay. So we're about to go in and actually experience all the lights and stuff. We got up the hill. And I was like, nope. You're going left. And when you went left down this hill, there was rows of cars as far as the eye could see it felt like they had poor johns everywhere there was a food truck at one point and it was the ground was muddy extremely muddy um ironically at the very end of this this part of the line there was a an auto bell lights display kind of saying hey we know your car's gonna be trashed from this so come see us we'll get you cleaned up and so you finally, you finally make it through this zigzag, all these zigzags, and you head down this longer road and back in some wood area. And then you, you keep on going and then you finally make it into the speedway. And then you, you drive on the track, which is pretty cool. Especially if you're like, if you're a NASCAR fan and you want to drive on the track, then that would be a perfect way to do it. And then you go into the center and then there's a bunch of lights in there too. The lights themselves were really good. I mean, it was really neat. But we we looked at the lights for about maybe 15 to 20 minutes after waiting in line for around three and a half hours. I've got a friend who went and he said there wasn't a wait at all. So I guess if you're feeling lucky or if you just want to spend hours with your family in a car, then sure, I recommend it. So that was, that was the best car experience. It was just traffic, nonstop traffic. It was unbelievable. We went to McCadden the last year and left after like an hour because this is, this is crazy traffic. We had no idea we were getting into this year, waiting three and a half hours. Um, if you've been to this event, let me know how the traffic was whenever you went because, I mean, I keep saying traffic, the line, the line to get in, which is basically traffic, I guess. But just let me know how, how the line was whenever you went, because it was crazy when we went. So, I guess that's it. Thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day. Bye.